Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here. It is now Monday, October 6th, the day after the North American launch for Skylanders Trap Team. Hopefully you're playing the game out, hunting some figures, doing something, having some fun. Because in the end, that is what it is all about. Now, as mentioned yesterday, I made my run to Toys R Us. I've shown you the launch day haul because I know it takes a while to unbox these. But uh, while most of you, uh, and it really does seem like pretty much everyone had this happen, uh, was able to acquire the Wave 2 Trap Masters, which would have been oh so nice so I could actually go into the Traptanium Elemental Gates. Uh, my store didn't have them out. They knew that they were dated for Tuesday. They knew that they were supposed to be released that day. And so I was unable to pick up the new Trap Masters, but... On the flip side of that coin, somehow these guys evaded the personnel and uh, made it to the pegs, albeit in the like low regions of the little mobile in cap things. But uh, my sharp eye spotted fist bump, then I saw a tread head, and then I stumbled upon this awesome splash. So uh, we've got basically just to recap it for you real quick. Last time these guys will be together in packaging anyway. Full blast jet vac series three, uh, series three uh, fizzy frenzy pop fizz, and then series two hogwild fry now. Going by what people think, uh, Pop Fizz is probably the most popular of these three, so I'm going to get him opened up for you first. Uh, I have been anticipating a Beast Mode Pop Fizz actual, you know, molded figure for a long time. Basically, since he came out, that's what I've been hoping for. I was hoping that when he came back, I figured he would, him and Hot Dog, because they were so popular in Giants, figured they'd come back and swap for us. They did. Uh, Pop Fizz has one of the best voice actors behind him, uh, plus he's just a lot of fun to play as, pretty hilarious, and more importantly, he's fairly unique. Uh, you can go Mad Scientist if you like the potions, I don't want to show them to you just yet. Uh, and then if you don't like the potions, or you've done the potions, and now you're going to get this guy and you want to try something else, you'll want to go Best of the Beast. It's technically Beast form, but uh, I just personally prefer Beast mode. And uh, this is what it is, it's when he drinks the potion and becomes the irate maniac that deals intensive massive amounts of damage in short periods of time um, and there he is artwork the card the figure it is truly a sight to see and again I was stoked to find these I want to say don't hold me to this it seems like someone emailed me uh, Treadhead and fist bump the new landers three to a box for a total of six and then since it's 12 to a box for the cores I believe Two Jetvac, two Frino, two Pop Fizz. So theoretically, all three of these, you've got the same odds of finding them. However, if you happen to be in an area where Pop Fizz reigns supreme, he'll probably get plundered first. Uh, if you live in an area where people like Frino, he'll be raided. Uh, so it just kind of depends on who goes to the stores you go to and who their favorites are. Uh, if they're full-out collectors, uh, two per box. I have no clue what they're getting. I assume they'll be fairly well stocked in the singles. Are there triple packs coming out with these guys? I would assume yes. Do they come out tomorrow? I have heard nothing. Uh, at this point in time, after three years of doing Skylanders, I have a pretty uh, pretty amazing group of people that kind of keeps me filled in on things. And uh, if there are triple packs coming tomorrow, I don't know about them. Uh, I'm sure that they will come eventually if you want to hold out. But the Going back through the annals of Activision's releasing of the figures... They tend to like to do the single packs ahead of the triple packs, and then that way you're inclined to purchase the singles. Uh, that's just the way I've kind of interpreted it over the years, and uh, I'm sure they will come. The catch is you have to wait, and the ultimate question is, can you wait? Uh, and in my case, I can't because I want to pick them up, unbox them, and play with them. Uh, so nonetheless, this one is awesome. Uh, Series 3, again, is highlighted across the side there. So you kind of know it's a different pop fizz. Obviously, this looks unlike any of his other poses. Uh, and it looks really, really cool. Uh, so, for people that prefer Best of the Beast or think this is an awesome pose, uh, you would be correct. It truly is a sweet pose. Again, you've got kind of the prismatic packaging. Down here we've got the Magic Element logo, again official name, Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz. And then you've got the motion of the potion. I wouldn't mind it if they call I know that's kind of catchy, it's got the consonants with the Fizzy Frenzy, but Beast Mode Pop Fizz would have worked for me, you know. Uh, that's probably what I will call him because it just he looks like he's in Beast Mode to me. And I know it's Beast Form as I stated before, but Beast Mode just fits better. Uh, coming around to the back side, there is Tidal Wave Gilgrim. You just can't escape this guy. He's all over the place. In hand on the portal going down uh, to the... Uh, pl that actually showcases a new WoW power, ironically. Anyway, there, right there, Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz inset box art. Back and better than ever. Um, is that all it says? 
Trapping plays, villains, new wow pal. Yeah, so highlight is new wow pal. Right there, it's series three. They've got Eruptor in the inset for that. Uh, other featured characters, Blaster Mind, Cobra Cadabra, Fizzy Frenzy, Pop Fizz, and Spry. I was under the impression Cobra Cadabra was coming out as well, but I've not heard anything about him, so I don't know. Um, seems like people had gameplay of him that I thought they had from the figure in hand, and he was included in the bios. But I've not seen anything about him, so I, I don't know on that. Uh, I'd love to pick him up, though. Um, also, Enigma. And actually, we need a Magic Element Trap Master released, or it's going to be annoying to go through the game and not be able to open the Magic Elemental Gates. Uh, I stress this. I'm one of the people that actually pushes what I know you want, and that is simply having one of whatever it is for that particular game that we need to get through it on launch day without having to go back and if, for things that you missed. Uh, not things that you just skipped because you didn't see them or wanted to, but you find the elemental gate and then you just can't open it because there's not a figure available for it. So that part kind of stinks, but again, I do my best to try and kind of relay what uh, what the community tells me to. That said, of course, since this is Pop Fizz, he was a Newlander in what game? That would be the orange base second installment, Skylanders Giants. So he has actually got some backwards compatibility here. You can play him in Trap Team, you can go back in Swap Force, and you can take him all the way back to Skylanders Giant. So very cool there. Other important feature, of course this side's plain. You get a nice 180 degree view of him. You can get the top side. Special that they do I guess for the Series 2, 3 and the Lone Series 4. Uh, we won't <laughs> exclude Kilgrun here. They actually say New Wow Pow in a little red tab. It's easy to pick up on that. So they do their best to kind of highlight this is a Series 3 Here's why you get it, and realistically, the reason you would get this is A, you're a collector, B, it's an epic pose, or C, you want the new Wow Pal, uh, and that's really what it comes down to. And for me, it's a combination of them, but the new Wow Pal is something I'm excited about. Obviously, not having the strategy guide, I don't know what the Wow Pal is, but I sincerely hope that it has something to do with beast mode, and that will be epic. So... Uh, nine, well, I guess 10.99 since it was Toys R Us. But to their credit, uh, they do have the best sales, and they have them with the greatest frequency, which is almost all the time. It seems like if you're in Toys R Us and there's not a Skylander sale, if you can like hold out a week, there will probably be one. Now, granted, if what you're looking for is extremely rare or hard to come by, or you just really want it, not a big deal. But if you can wait, uh, you can generally catch their 40% off sale. So. Uh, we will open this. I'm thinking he'll be taped. So far, the Wave 1 guys weren't taped, and Wave 2 has been taped. That is the case. So, uh, we're going to come in here. If you keep that stuff, again, cut the tape, and then you don't run the risk of bending it. I'm not concerned about that. I just want to get him freed from his plastic. He's going to be so cool to take a look at. Uh, again, I have literally waited since Giants for this day to come that he would have a pose dedicated to the Beast Mode, in part because it's so different. It's like with Ghost Roaster, I keep holding out hope that there's a Series 2 Ghost Roaster and they do like Skull Master. And I could just like picture, you know, kind of like the ectoplasmic green residual death fragments and it glows in the dark. And uh, I have visions in my head of grandeur of a Series 2 Ghost Roaster. That said, this is one of the ones that I truly wanted to see for three years now and it's finally happened. So uh, you get the figure, the sticker card, I guess the stat card and then the sticker sheet bear with me i'm still kind of fighting losing my voice but uh there it is that is the sticker you get the name tag for your power a tackle box your poster your bulletin boards your folders notebooks whatever you do with them and then these stats the all important stats that don't really translate to the game uh but i talk about them anyway we have got power 90 of 250 armor 70 of 250 speed agility 50 of 250 luck 150 of 250 add all that up and we're sitting at what 360 out of 1000 so that's not too shabby for these stat cards backside as you would expect standard issue uh, we will set that down i'm going to hold him up here on the front side only so you can admire this guy and i'm uh, going to run you through his background story why because i do things nobody else does so uh, nobody is quite sure who pop Fizz was before he became an alchemist least of all pop Fizz himself after many years of experimenting with magical potions, his appearance has changed quite significantly. In fact, no one even knows his original color. But it's widely known that he is a little crazy, his experiments are reckless, and the accidents they cause are too numerous to measure. Understandably, he has a difficult time finding lab partners or anyone that even wants to be near him. 
In hopes of making himself more appealing to others, he attempted to create the most effective charm potion ever. But that just turned into a big, wild berserker. Which, that's the other name for it, is berserker. But that's kind of a little bit strange, and a lot of people regionally, I think, kind of vary the way that's actually pronounced. And uh, Yeah, I won't get into it. It's like a whole bunch of folklore garbage you probably don't care about. But uh, anyway, or maybe that just... Uh, how he saw the potion working in the first place. So it kind of ends with a little bit of humor here. And again, so Mr. Charming, if you wanted to nickname uh, your uh, Series 3 Pop Fizz, you could call Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz Mr. Charming. So he looks sinister. He's just down the potion. He's in beast form, uh, a.k.a. beast mode for uh, myself, all intents and purposes. I did notice a couple of things of the paint job. I don't think you can see it. I should have paid more attention, but in all honesty, I was just so excited when I saw these guys. I just kind of grabbed them. Uh, granted, there's only one other one. It might have suffered the same fate. The eyes have a little bit of a blemish. You know, like the black goes up a little bit. Granted, after custom painting these, uh, that is totally understandable. And then the only other thing, uh, that right there, that's not like a golden fingernail. That's just like somehow got there I guess you know when they were trying to apply the paint to the brace or something right there uh, but other than that it the main thing is it's an awesome pose looks fantastic magic element base you're familiar with that one then you've got the red trim for uh, to indicate that he is from trap team he's got the gloves with the uh, belts the brass buckles Interesting on the back side here that he doesn't have the little potion jars. It's kind of implied that he would, or maybe he just drank one and smashed it, you know. Uh, his ears seem to be a little bit longer and pointed up more in this pose. Uh, of course, the face has transitioned. His teeth are bigger. They're menacing. He's got the crazy look in his eyes. He's got the purple uh, trademark form there. And uh, overall, though, he just still, even in beast mode, he just looks like a really fun, lovable character. Now, if you wonder about Pop Fizz, let's go ahead and give you a little bit of a history lesson here. Why? Because I can and I want to. This is his original pose. It is his Skylanders Giants pose. This is what he came standard as. Uh, and it's pretty awesome. Again, right there in the back, you can see the extra detail. They have empty bottles of potion right there. This is like the precursor to this. Here he is. He's got his uh, beast potion. He's drinking it. And then he evolves into this. But that's not all. In addition to this pose, you come in from Giants, set that down, and he actually had a light core pose. This is one of the better light core, uh, actually, in my opinion, just because it's so unique and practical. Again, you see the potion bag being full as opposed to this one. Uh, maybe he just grew so big it shattered the glass. I don't know. But uh, that is light core. And then the Nintendo 3DS uh, for Giants came with Punch Pop Fizz. Uh, which now I think GameStop was giving these away if you trade in an old portal. It's basically the exact same as his initial. It's just instead of being that uh, sweet Pop Fizz blue, he's actually a Fruit Punch Red. So that is figure number three. And then in Swap Force, uh, he got Super Gold Pop Fizz, which is basically him on his Wow Pow. I think it was called um, Flat Beaker Buddy, I think is correct. Uh, so, But again, the pouch actually had the uh, glass bottles in it. This one I thought would have been another interesting light core. It was kind of sad that the emphasis was so much on that, but then again, it tied in with what the character did in the game. Bottom line, if I had to pick out of each of the four of those my favorite pop fizz it would be this one it's just so menacing it looks so awesome uh, i still like the others uh, particularly the light core one but uh, this is just awesome and it's what i'd anticipated for so long it's, ghost roaster hasn't been out since ssa and i still each year i look forward to it potentially him being back somehow in some form and uh, so far, no success, but that's why when I get invited to E3 and, you know, no one else is asking questions, it's like, hey, what about Ghost Roaster? You know, we got Dino Ring over here, you know, he could use a repos too. So uh, this is something that I've had in my head. Of course, Pop Fizz has been insanely popular. Uh, he's one of the most popular Skylanders, in fact. Uh, I think, I don't think it has so much to do with the voice acting, which myself and maybe some others appreciate. 
but uh, I think it just has to do with people who truly enjoy playing as him. He's a ton of fun, and he's just he's got the complex side where you can mix the potions. He can be played straightforward, and uh, he's just totally unique. It's something you would expect and see only in Skylanders. So uh, this is it. This is Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz. This was not supposed to be in my hands yet. Uh, but luckily my Toys R Us, while they did the correct thing, holding back Head Rush, Lobstar, and Bushwhack, these somehow evaded someone, and I happen to be the beneficiary, so I cannot complain about that. That said, tomorrow Toys R Us, and they do get them ahead of other retailers, if that's one day, or a week, or whatever, I have no idea at this point in time, but I can tell you, Fizzy Frenzy should be available at your Toys R Us tomorrow. Quantities may be limited, I don't know, again, two per box. But uh, this guy, Full Blast Jet Vac, Hogwild Rhino, of course, Treadhead and Fist Bump, they're available as well tomorrow at Toys R Us. Check it out if you want them. Go ahead and cash in on that 40% sale. If you at least find two, you've done something right and you've got two for you, you have to hunt and track down. So hopefully that helps you out. This is a cool look at him. Uh, I'm going to unbox fbjv and then i'm gonna do some in game with these guys get their introductions underway for you chase mccain was hidden if you saw him feel free to post up uh if you have not subscribed make sure you do that because full blast jet is about to get unboxed and you don't want to miss that similarly uh your best source of updates is of course my personal site one of wisdom best way to contact me quickly is twitter at one of wisdom uh if you're into this stuff if you like the unboxings if you like the gameplay uh, if you like the sales information check out skyland club.com i've set up a forum there i'll have a link down in the video description I want you to sign up check it out if you like it and i encourage you to post share your information share your collections and uh, basically make the skylanders hobby that much more enjoyable for you so for myself in the insanely awesome and epic beast mode pop fizz as i will call him uh technically it's fizzy frenzy but it's i think i'll rename him uh people give me flack for not wearing hats much I think whenever I get him in the game in the introduction, I'll promise you right now, I'm going to go in and we're going to name him Beast Mode. And that'll be when I showcase how to do the nickname. So stay tuned for that for myself and Beast Mode. I can call him that now since I've told you I'm going to rename him in the game. Uh, we will catch you back here for more unboxing. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. If you like what we're doing, hit that button. And uh, I don't think Beast Mode would say motion of the potion. I think he'd just come up here and rattle the camera.